Is the capital city of Abia State in southeast Nigeria. It was established by the British colonial administration of Nigeria in the early 20th century. On 28th of September 1967, Umwahia was declared the second capital of the short lived nation of the Republic of Biafra after Enugu. According to historical tales, the name Umwahia was derived from the Igbo word Amahia, which means market center. It said that the British who arrived and annexed this region around the mid to late 19th century had mistakenly pronounced and spelt the name as Umwahia, and that is what it is called to this day. In pre-colonial era, Umwahia served as one of the central marketplaces in the region for commerce. With its narrative and how close it was to towns like Ohafia, Abiriba, Arochuku, Obowo, Ngwa, Okigwe, Ozakoli, Bende, Newi, Akwapa, that is the old Calabar and Kalambari, merchants of produce, poultry, crafts, textile, Traditional medicine, palm wine, and tools traveled from far to trade at the market center. This city is also known to be a railway and agricultural center, which attracted traders from surrounding villages to sell their produce, such as yams, cassava, corn, citrus fruit, palm oil and canal. The city which is located along the railroad which lies between Portakot to east south and Enugu city to east north has two local government areas namely Umwahia north and Umwahia south. The south has three major clans which are Ubakala Olokoro, Umuapara. Some of the villages in Umuahia South constitutes what's known as Old Umuahia, with its local government council headquarters located at Aumiri in Obakala. 
Omohia North local government area consists of Ibeko and Ohuhu, with its local government council headquarters located at Ibeko. Omohia was a military conflict during the Biafran War between Nigerian and Biafran soldiers. It was invaded in 1969 from March 20th to April 24th during the final stages of the civil war and this happened less than one year prior to the Biafran surrender. The lands here are very fertile and this area is still known for the high yield of palm fruits, coconuts, cassava, avocados, sour soap, among others. People in this part are yet to embrace greenery, but the developing areas in this city might be headed in that direction. This city can easily be one of the most beautiful places in Africa if we decide to be intentional with the natural resources available in these parts. Going back to early civilization, one of the stories that stood out to me concerning the spread of the human race around the world is the historical story of the Tower of Babel. Some historians, scholars, scientists and researchers say the Tower of Babel, which you can find in the scriptures in Genesis chapter 11 from verse 1 to 9, is a myth. But their own interpretation of the origin of man and languages doesn't make sense to me, so I think I will stick to what I already know. I was searching for the first settlers in this region and came across an article that states that the people that lived in Ohuhu might have immigrated from Etiti, a village in Imo state, I believe, because there was not much written about the place. The article also suggested that the first settlers in this area, known as the Ohuhu clan, may not have immigrated from anywhere, which does not make sense at all, going by the creation analysis. We know that only Noah and his family, which were his wife, his three sons and their wives, that survived the great flood, including all the animals God instructed them to bring along on the boat. After the flood, the sons of Noah went ahead to have children, which is the beginning of the new race of humans. At this time, they all spoke and understood one language until 101 years later after the flood when God decided to scatter them during the construction of the Tower of Babel. Though Wikipedia says it's 107 years after the flood, but my own calculation gave me 101 years. You can find this in the book of Genesis chapter 10, verse 10 to 19. From this point, the human race began to spread all over the earth. This is when the immigration process actually began. I also went ahead to research the oldest cities in Africa. A few popped up in Nigeria, among other parts of Africa, which include Ife in Oshun State, southwestern Nigeria, which is said to be 2,500 years old. Bini City in Edo State, southern Nigeria, which is said to be 1,000 years old and Kano City in Kano State, Northern Nigeria, which is said to be 1,000 years old. This confirms some of the stories my dad had told us as kids. What stories were you told about your own people? Please leave a comment, let us know.
Looking at our historical records, there are more information about the British annexing most parts of Africa and less information on the origin of Africa and its people. And this is some of the things I'm hoping to discover and share with us on this space as we visit more cities over the course of time.
anywhere else let me know what you think in the comment section below okay thank you for taking the time to watch this video please like subscribe to join me on this journey share your thoughts with me in the comment section and also share this video with your family and friends i'm kem the Mbago, and this is life with kemdi sharing life's experience adventures and everything in between till i see you in the next one stay safe stay blessed much love from here bye